Hard walking, truth talking, always squawking, Jet Set Radio! Even the Kisatsu tune in here when they're not eating donuts. Looks like the Gigi's have filled the streets of Kogane Cho with their graffiti. Those froggies turned right back in the little tadpoles and swam away as fast as they could. Ribbit, ribbit. Poison Jam is on the run. And if the Gigi's go after them, Kogane Cho is there. Yo, yo! 
Get scratching. We'll leave your mama gawking and your daddy walking. We're Tokyo's biggest, baddest buccaneers. We're Jet Set Radio. Poison Jam is finished. They're worm food. And there ain't no sequels in the works for these monsters. They're in the grave for good. Whoa, all of a sudden a big black car came by and picked up Poison Jam, snatched them right away. So is this a real kidnapping this time? Or maybe it's just the garbage collector. That was one cool garbage truck, all right? There was a piece of a broken record in a mask that got left behind, and it fits perfectly with the piece from the noise tanks. Do the love shockers have the other piece? Guess we gotta ask them.
let's get scratching. <laughs> Martians come all the way to Earth just to listen to us with Tokyo's finest pirate radio, Jet Set Radio! One of the fallen love shockers was holding a golden rhinoceros badge. The golden rhinos are a gang of ruthless Asian killers. Rumor has it they're the ones who kidnapped Poison Jam too. The Rokoku group is run by a strange fella named Goji Rokoku. It's a huge business conglomerate that pretty much owns the city. Rokoku Project 2000 is Goji's big city improvement plan to increase productivity and prosperity in the area. The future of Tokyo, he said. If you ask me, it's just a bunch of bull. Them guys have been erasing a lot of GG graffiti. Are the GGs gonna sit back and take it? The Golden Rhinos and the Rokoku Project got nothing to do with me, and it's dangerous to get involved. But you gotta give back what you take, right? <laughs> <laughs> 